This is Gambia, the birthplace of Kunta Kinte from the novel Roots. Hello, welcome to Opentira. Today we're exploring the country known as the Smiling Coast of Africa, a country along the Atlantic Ocean in West Africa. It's renowned for its warm hospitality, vibrant culture and stunning natural beauty. The Gambia is the smallest country in mainland Africa, with a total area of just 11,300 square kilometers. It is located on the Gambia River and surrounded by Senegal, except for a short coastline on the Atlantic Ocean. The country has a hot and rainy tropical climate with a short dry season. The Gambia River flows 1,150 kilometers from the Futa Jalon Plateau in Guinea through Gambia to the Atlantic Ocean. The river is tidal for 250 kilometers upstream. Mangroves and lagoons line much of the river and coast. Inland from the coast, the landscape is characterized by savanna and dry forest ecosystems. The altitude never rises more than 53 meters above sea level. The Gambia River has been a vital trade route in West Africa for centuries. The Ghana Empire and Mali Empire rose to power by controlling commerce along the river. The first written accounts of the region come from Arab traders in the 9th and 10th centuries. In the 15th century, Portuguese sailors reached the area as they explored the West African coast. This marked the beginning of competition between European powers for regional influence and trade rights. In 1661, the British established a trading post near the mouth of the Gambia River, which was operated by the Royal Adventurers into Africa Company. In the late 18th century, the British incorporated the Gambia into the larger colony of Senegambia. It was a center of the British slave trade until 1807, when it was abolished. The economy transitioned to exporting peanuts and other goods to Britain. Resistance to colonial rule was built through the 19th and 20th centuries. The Gambia peacefully gained independence from Britain in 1965. It adopted a constitution as a sovereign democratic state. However, the next few decades saw political turmoil with several coups and authoritarian rule. Yaya Jameh seized power in 1994 and was governed by a repressive dictatorship until his defeat in 2016. After a brief political crisis, Adama Barrow assumed the presidency in 2017. Barrow's election has allowed a transition toward renewed democracy and human rights. The Gambia has great ethnic diversity. The largest ethnic group is the Mandinka, making up around 34% of the population. Other major ethnic groups include the Fula, around 20%, Wolof, about 14%, Jola, 10%, and Serahuli, 9%. There are also small numbers of Manjago, Bambara, Akumarabu, and other groups. The Gambia is predominantly Muslim, with around 95% following Islam. Most Muslims are Sunni, belonging to the Maliki school of jurisprudence, there is also a small Christian minority of around 4%, the majority of which are Roman Catholic. Some Gambians also follow traditional indigenous beliefs. While English is the official language, most Gambians speak local languages. Mandinka is the most widely spoken language with around 40% native speakers. Fula and Wolof are also widely spoken. Because of the diversity of ethnic groups, many Gambians are multilingual. There are also small French and Portuguese-speaking minorities due to colonial history. The economy of the Gambia is heavily focused on agriculture and tourism. Its GDP is estimated to be around $2.19 billion according to World Bank estimates. Agriculture employs nearly 75% of the labor force and accounts for around 30% of its GDP. Major agricultural products include peanuts, pearl millet and sorghum. Tourism centered around the Atlantic coast beaches is the other pillar of the economy. 
tourism provides about 20% of GDP. However, the tourism industry has declined in recent years due to political instability. The country has a liberalized market economy characterized by minimal trade barriers. But the economy remains vulnerable due to dependence on rain-fed agriculture and fluctuations in the global economy. Unemployment and poverty remain high, with nearly half the population living below the poverty line. The country relies on financial aid, remittances and grants from multilateral agencies and non-governmental organizations. Key challenges for the economy include reducing reliance on peanut production, building up tertiary industries like manufacturing, increasing fiscal discipline and expanding the skills of the labor force. The Gambia is a presidential republic with a legal system based on English common law. The president serves as both chief of state and head of government. The country has a unicameral legislative body called the National Assembly. The Gambia was ruled by authoritarian President Yahya Jammeh from 1994 to 2017. After losing elections in 2016, Jammeh was forced into exile. President Adama Barrow took power in 2017. His election marked the beginning of a transition to fully democratic governance. Key allies and partners include the United States, United Kingdom, European Union, China, Turkey and several Arab states. It also has close ties with neighboring Senegal and other West African nations. Domestic policy focuses on judicial reform, free elections, economic recovery and infrastructure goals. Foreign policy centers on regional integration, non-alignment and participation in international peacekeeping. The Gambia is a diverse country, home to many ethnic groups and influences from its history as a trading hub and colonial outpost. This blending is reflected in its rich artistic traditions. Music plays a central role in Gambian culture. The kora, a harp lute, is the national instrument. Percussion and zalam, a traditional lute, are also widely used. Music drawn from griots, the keepers of oral tradition, is popular. Gambian pop music fuses these traditional sounds with modern genres like reggae. Storytelling, folk tales and poetry have deep roots. Important literary figures include Lendry Peters, a poet who helped found the Gambia National Museum, Fabrics like batik and tie-dye using wax-resist techniques have become iconic Gambian crafts. Cultural events like weddings, namings and wrestling competitions continue to be marked by lively music, dance and crafts. Gambian cuisine reflects the country's ethnic diversity, with each group contributing its own flavors and ingredients. Here are some dishes to try out. Benachin is a one-pot rice dish that includes meat or fish, vegetables and spices. Key ingredients include tomato paste, onions, garlic, chili peppers and bay leaves, which give it a robust flavor. Common protein options are chicken, beef or fish like snapper, potatoes, carrots, green beans and cassava are typical veggie mix-ins. The rice soaks up all the rich flavors for a hearty, comforting meal. Yasa involves marinating meat or fish in a blend of lemon juice, onions, garlic, chili peppers and mustard. This gives it an iconic tangy and spicy kick. Common proteins are chicken or fish like grouper. Onions are caramelized before being incorporated into the marinade. Yasa is usually served with white rice and accompanied by atieke, steamed and dried cassava couscous. Nyambe, nyebe. This beef and pumpkin stew gets creaminess from ground peanuts. After searing cubed beef and sautéing aromatics, pumpkin is simmered until tender. Peanut butter and broth are whisked together to form the rich, nutty sauce base. Spices like nutmeg, 
chili flakes, garlic and bay leaves add layers of flavor. Nyanburu is a sweet donut-like snack made with millet flour and coconut milk. The Nayan part refers to bread. Mburu means coconut in the Mandinka language. The batter is fermented, giving it a slightly sourdough taste. Nan Mburu are served warm, topped with more coconut flakes. If you enjoyed this video on the Gambia, you'll love this next one.